In considering what I would talk to you about tonight, I decided to tell you a very interesting story. What many of you don't know is that my great, great, great grandfather went to St. George's many years ago. One day this summer, my father told me a story that his great, great grandfather told him when he was very young. The story takes place many years ago, before St. George's existed, in the infamous Second Garden of Eden. Though some of you might not have heard of the Second Garden of Eden, just believe me, it existed. In fact, it just so happens that the Second Garden of Eden was actually located where St. George's is now, here at the corner of Paradise and Purgatory. Well, just like the first Garden of Eden, there were animals of all shapes, colors, and varieties. Pandas, geckos, kangaroos, you name it. They were all in that Second Garden of Eden. After having the problems with the first Garden of Eden, God did not really want to cope with overseeing the second garden, so he let the animals govern themselves. Among the animals, there were two who really dominated, two animals who made the other animals cringe with fear. One, it just so happens, was the mighty dragon, who breathed fire, was able to fly with its enormous wings, and basically kicked some serious zebra ass. The other beast was the zebra, with its fearsome stripes, horrible hooves, and mediocre speed. To tell you the truth, I didn't really understand why all the other animals were so scared of the zebra. But my father was getting pretty into the story at this point, so I figured I wouldn't interrupt him. These two were the most revered beast in the second Garden of Eden, and there was an undeniable rivalry between them. One day the owl, being the wisest of the creatures, had the idea that the zebras and the dragons should have a competition to determine which one was superior. A strange coincidence is that this Saturday is the anniversary of that date that they decided to hold the contest. Anyway, the owl suggested that they hold four contests, all of which would involve speed, endurance, strength, and intelligence. The dragon dominated the first two events without even breaking a sweat. But the zebra won the final two through his trickery and deceit. This tie did not satisfy anyone, so the owl devised one final contest to break it and determine once and for all who is the greater beast, the zebra or the dragon. The owl determined that they would battle for the right to claim the title of master of the beasts. Well, the battle lasts for hours and was bloody and vicious. Suddenly, though, the smoke cleared and one beast stood alone. We've all heard the motto, it's not whether you win or lose, it's how you play the game. And this is true. If everyone gives his or her all, does it matter? Does it matter who stands alone in the final battle? Well, let me leave you with this one final image. After the fight was long over and the battle long since forgotten, somewhere sat a dragon, lounging around in his robe and slippers, a confident grin on his face. He sat in front of his fireplace, above which was mounted the head of the zebra. Keep this in mind during the anniversary of that very first contest in the Second Garden of Eden.